In this video, you'll see two ways of subtracting fractions. The first way uh, with borrowing, and the second way where we won't borrow. Uh, this first one, we want to rewrite these fractions with the least common denominator. The least common denominator of 6 and 9 is 18. So uh, 6 times 3 is 18, so I also multiply 1 times 3 to get 4 and 3 18 9 times 2 is 18, so I multiply 7 times 2 to get 2 and 14 18 so Notice here what I'm trying to subtract. I'm trying to subtract something bigger uh, in the numerators from something smaller. So what I do is borrow. Over here, I'm going to show you how borrowing works. If I have 4 and 3 18 I'm going to take 1 away from the 4 and make that a 3. But that 1 doesn't go away. It gets converted into 18 18 because that's equal to a whole. So 3 and 18 18 is equal to 4. And then I add the fraction piece, 3 18 to that. So now I get 3 and 21 18 as my new fraction. So I rewrite my 4 and 3 18 to what I just found out here is 3 and 21 18 and I'm going to subtract 2 and 14 18 now I can subtract uh, here 3 minus 2 is 1 and 21 minus 14 is 7 and that's over 18 so my final answer for this is 1 and 7 18 okay this is another uh, way of subtracting fractions um, if uh, you don't like to borrow this might be something you try to do uh, but uh, just as a warning when you work this way uh, the numbers tend to get a little bit larger uh, when you're subtracting so first step is going to be the same I want to rewrite each fraction with the least common denominator so as we saw from the previous example it's 4 and 3 18 minus 2 and 14 18 now, rather than borrow here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change each of these mixed numbers to improper fractions. So 18 times 4 is 72, plus 3 is 75 over 18. I'm going to subtract that from 18 times 2 is 36, plus 14 is going to give me 50. So that's 50 over 18. Now I can subtract 75 minus 50 is 25. That's over 18. And I convert this improper fraction to a mixed number. 18 goes into 25 once with 7 18 left over. Same exact answer as we got in the previous problem. Just a different way of solving this. And that's two ways to subtract fractions.